Hey guys, MMA Savant here, and I just want to talk to you about, um, well, it happened a few years ago, and I wonder if anybody else has ever had this uh, same thing happen to them. Um, so basically, um, now a little background on me, um, I started training at Extreme, Extreme Couture, I was there for probably uh, nine, maybe ten months. Um, and I was trained under Neil Melanson, um, Patrick Began, uh, Richie Castro, and on every once in a while, uh, Randy would would teach the amateur class. And so I got some good uh, coaching in over there. And then after there, after that, I moved uh, back to the Bay Area where I, where I'm from, and I signed up with a school called AKA Sunnyvale. Now it's a satellite school. It's an you know, um, and it, it is an AKA school, and the coaches there are um, black belts under uh, Dave Camarillo, and uh, you know Half Gracie. A lot, a lot of Half Gracie guys are there. Anyway, so I was there for like two and a half years, and um, so I got really good teaching up there from. Uh, uh, Mike Prudencio and Alex Kambabian, uh, Mitchell Kubota. Um, you, you know, um, I won't forget anybody else here, but uh, the guys from One World. Um, anyway, so I got really good coaching up there, and it was gi and no gi. So that's, uh, you know, eight or nine months, whatever, at Extreme Couture, and then um, two and a half years or so at AKA. Um, it's a different building, but same teaching of the AKA headquarters. Okay, so now with that being said, um, I had just taken a an amateur fight up in Chico, oh well, Gridley, California, and I I had my gi with me, so I decided to stop at a a small Chico gym, and and get a you know break a sweat and get a, a session in, you know, just kind of, you know work technique, whatever. So I get there, I walk in there, and I sign the waiver that, you know, the insurance waiver and everything that you always have to sign. And I, um, we were, we're warming up, and me and a guy pair off, and we're going to do, the coach says to start with uh, arm bar drills, um, and, you know, do your arm bar drills. So I do what I've been doing for two and a half years with the gi on. I get my hook. I, I get my, my grips on the wrist. I reach behind the tricep. I set my legs up, and I go for the arm bar. Nothing wrong. You know, the guy, you know, I, the guy taps. I reset. So anyway, the coach comes over, the coach uh, leading the class, and uh, he goes, uh, and he's a black belt under Cassio Warnick. And he kind of calls me out in front of everybody. And he goes, I don't know what you think that was, but if you're going to train at this gym, you're going to learn how to work proper technique. And I didn't want to say anything because it, it is his house. And uh, maybe he thought I was somebody else or, or, or maybe he, I did something I didn't realize I did or something. But he then he goes on to keep saying he goes uh, he goes what kind of grip was that and it's the same grip that I have been using um, for uh, for the um, the arm bars that Dave Camarillo, Chris Coldiron, and Mike you know Prudencio all taught us whatever for years. It's the one we that we learned at AKA. And then he goes. What rinky dink school did you come from? So I go, uh, AKA. And then, so now, of course, the class is quiet and, and I got all attention on me and everything. And he goes, AKA. And I go, yeah, you know, Kane Velasquez, Josh Thompson, Daniel Cormier. Luke Rockhold. I start na naming some of the heavy hitters over there. Um, but I remember him doing that to me, and I remember thinking, 
I wonder why it's, it's so hard for guys who switch schools a lot, because I, I, I do move a lot and everything, um, to really get promoted. Because if you go to a new school, they have different names for everything, and they have different types of warm-ups. And what one guy, what one school calls this sweep, the other, the other school calls it a different name. So basically, um, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of weird. I, I always uh, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I never went back there. Uh, my fight happened the next day. I ended up getting, getting the tap. Um, me and the guy became good friends. Uh, not the guy from the coach, but the guy who I ended up fighting. And uh, anyway, but I remember him calling me out, and I remember thinking that was very, like, if you're going to say something to me, pull me aside. You know, um, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just being sensitive or whatever about it, but, uh, you know, don't call me out in front of the whole class. Especially when I when I just signed and it's my first time there, um, and again it was a little tiny gym in Chico, California. I want to say it was called Throwdown or Takedown or something like that, but I remember uh, being pretty disrespected by it, and I remember feeling like it was a slight to AKA and to Extreme Couture and a lot of good coaches that I had before. So am I am I out of pocket on this one? Am, am I wrong um, to be offended, or is that against the uh, Bushido code of uh, respect amongst martial artists? So uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, comment below, and um, yeah, um, let me know. And if that's ever happened to you, or, or maybe a different story. Um, you know, let, let me know, okay? All right, thanks, guys. This has been the MMA Savant, and uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later.